Well, I'm at the Central Park Hotel, but we're not in New York City. We're in Sigishora, Romania, which is a old fortified town. It means a walled town and one of the few that are left in Eastern Europe that are still inhabited. And uh, I wanted to show you the town today. We're going to look around and explore. This town was first established in the 12th century. It was first mentioned in 1191. It was settled by what they call Transylvanian Saxons. They were German people who were invited here by the King of Hungary because this was a part of the kingdom. And they were invited here to basically settle down here to help build the city and to establish a stronghold and defense. So here's our hotel room at the Central Park Hotel. I guess I can turn the lights on, maybe it's easier for everybody to see. Beautiful place. Look at this balcony here. It's a great view. Beautiful doors to this balcony. This is also the home of Vlad the Impaler, who is also known as Count Dracula, the Bram Stoker-inspired Dracula. He was only here until he was four years old, but they say it's his childhood home. I bet it looks really, really nice at Christmas time when it has a little bit of snow on the ground. Oh, there's Edith getting ready. And then, of course, the bathroom. Nice jacuzzi bed. Here's our suite. And uh, the hallway here, the hotels are pretty amazing. Look at the ceiling. Beautiful, beautiful place. So they have an outdoor bar here. They have a restaurant inside. Very nice, little seating area, but it's really nice in here. In the springs, summer. Here's the lobby. So here's Central Park during the day. They have tables with chess sets on it. And there's the clock tower. So here is the clock tower. Now during the last parts of the medieval period, Sigishwara was repeatedly attacked by the Ottoman Empire. As a result, the main guilds or the occupations had to build towers. 14 towers were built, nine towers still exist, and um, it's a beautiful clock tower. The actual tower itself was built in the 1300s, and the clock was installed in the 1600s. So we're gonna go look at the different towers. Uh, they have the names of the occupations on the towers, like the Rope Maker's Tower, the Tailor's Tower, the Furrier's Tower, or the Butcher's Tower. Like I said, nine towers still exist, and one of those towers is still inhabited today. It's the Rope Maker's Tower. We won't be able to go inside, but it's for the groundkeeper of the Evangelical Cemetery, so we'll get to see that. So here's Umbrella Street. Well, I think you can tell this is a Saxon type town, a German town. Even though we're in Romania, it used to be part of the Hungarian Empire. Well, they lost that after World War I was given basically to Romania. But this is the kind of thing you see the murals on the wall that we saw near Munich out there in Bavaria. It's a cafe here on the road. And here's Edith. She always has to get her souvenir coin here. She's got to figure it out how to use it. Interesting because they don't have um, they don't have many coins here. We have to use the actual bills, so the one and a five. So that's basically a dollar or something, a dollar and a penny, uh, yeah. American money. Wait, I want this one. I hope I get the right one. I didn't. There, I didn't that's before. it. Yeah, try that. Oh, you have to keep going. Yeah. Okay. I got the right one. <laughs> that's good. Look. Very nice. Very so cute. <laughs> This is called Ecumenia. This is a uh, native from this area in Romania. This is a leather belt. Everything is hand stitched. And look the year that it was made, 1929. This is almost 100 years old. And look Amazing. how well it's, it's so. The, let me see the stitching. The stitching is beautiful. Yeah. Everything is handmade. Oh, look at that right there. Yeah, it's beautiful. Such a nice piece. And our friend here, which she was showing us, so you can still heirloom. see. Yeah, this is a family heirloom. You can still see the thread, so you can tell that this was all hand stitched. This is beautiful. beautiful, great quality, and look, this is an actual pocket. So men will wear this around their shirt. I'm assuming that this will also help for working or lifting heavy stuff. And look how small it is, like the waist. And they put here, it goes in the kitchen. Wow. The, yeah, the pot, the plate, yes, yes, the dishes, yes. All the ceramic is local made. 
Artwork. John, are we here? Yeah. This was placed in the kitchen, and there will hang their pots, their pans uh -huh. here. But look, it's all hand painted. It is. Yes. And we also learn about this brush, which, which you know, like these nails. are like steel. Yeah, it's steel uh, brush. And this was used to brush the wool. Then the, they will the dry sheet. it. Yes, the sheet that will take the wool, dry it, and then, you know, from there, once it was uh, washed and dried, and they will make the thread to make their clothing. Yeah. Very impressive. Very amazing. So amazing. I love yeah. it. Um, it's got a bell on it too. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh no! Oh my God! I thought it was the first day kid. That's great. I love it. <laughs> it is so fun. I was so fooled by this. Look at this. There's no first day kid here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just everything you need that right is there. So cool. This is just like what we saw in Bavaria and Munich. People standing watching from the tower as it strikes noon here. So here is the clock tower. And I wanted to show you all you know how German it is. This is so German to have something like this. Oh, they are holding the scale of justice. Edith has good eyes. There's the iron sculpture of the dragon for the Order of Dragons, which was Vlad the Impeller's dad's order and his order. This is where he grew up here, well, until he was four. Of course, he was really well known for being very cruel and not very nice. So here is the Citadel Square, where they have a lot of public activities, uh, markets, fairs, and they also had public executions here, as well as witch trials. Pretty buildings are all unique, all the colors. They're so gorgeous. Also here at Citadel Square, you can see this house right here. It's very famous, built in the 1700s, but it's known as the Stag House. I think you can pretty much see why. You can see the antlers coming out of the corner of this building. Very unique. It's got the little mural painted. Now behind it is the Church on the Hill. We're gonna go up there a little bit later. It's supposed to have fantastic views. It's also one of the few churches in Romania that has a crypt underneath it. It's a Gothic church, actually. So if you ever see any videos from Sigishora, probably gonna have pictures from this street, which is very well known for the colorful houses. It's a pedestrian only street. So this is the Taylor's Tower here. It's actually blown up partially with gunpowder at some point, by accident. This tower is amazing here. Look at the spiral, I don't know, balcony, what you would call that, coming out. These cobblestones remind me of Mexico, San Miguel de Allende. One of the churches and this tower I'm about to show you, they do have a park right here. It's very interesting. They're getting set up for Christmas right now. I see some Christmas lights going up, but this is the, probably the shoemaker's tower or boots in particular. Here's one of the churches established in 1896. 
especially a Roman Catholic church, which you don't see a lot of those here in Romania. They have Romanian Orthodox churches. So here is Vlad the Impaler right here, Vlad Tepes, 1431 to 1476. Here's the clock tower. Lad's childhood home. You know how pretty the street is back here. We'll be heading up that way to the church on the hill. Here is the Mystical Transylvania Museum. You hear a truck, they're putting up the lights, the lights. So we are approaching the covered stairway, also known as the Pupils Stairway. It connects this area of the Citadel to the school, which is near the Church on the Hill. And there is a great legend about you know, whether or not somebody is your soulmate. Originally there were 300 stairs, now there's only 176. So there's a myth about this, or legend about the covered stairway, that back in the day when they had 300 steps, that a couple to find out if they're really soulmates would walk up here, and the man would kiss his girlfriend for every step, counting to 300. Every time he had to mention her name as well, and if they could do that and get everything correct, it would be considered soulmates for life. I thought that was pretty cool. I can't imagine getting Edith's name wrong or kissing her wrong. I don't know. I'd imagine almost everybody became soulmates. But you haven't kissed me once so far. I need to start. <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, let's start over again. And we only have 176 steps, so I'm already out of breath. All right. All right, the first one. Throw it in less than like 30, okay? Well, that's gonna have to be. That's for young people. <laughs> Hungarian goulash with dumplings, pizza, Ooh. salad, Ooh. Wow. Mm -hmm. pickles. Yummy. Pretty restaurant. Very nice out here. Here's the church on the hill. And it's pretty much on the hill. I passed by the schools. The buildings for the schools were built in 1619. Can you imagine going to school in an old town like this? Fortified old town, so cool. The kids are here on a tour, and we're gonna go into the Evangelical Cemetery. Now, there's something I read, I just don't know how true it is, that there's more German Saxons interred here, buried here, than there are people still living in this town. That would have to be a lot of people. This town's not big, but it's 28,000 right now. But the cemetery dates back to the 1700s. And there in the background is a tower for the rope makers, where somebody still lives there. He's the caretaker for the evangelical cemetery I told you about earlier. Built in 1345. Oh, that's gorgeous. Here is an altar for St. Nicholas. He was the original saint the church was dedicated to. At that time, it was a Roman Catholic church. You can see the altar up here. Right now, it's a Lutheran church or Protestant church. And here's the altar to actually Jesus' grandmother, who they say is named Anne. Beautiful. And here is the place where they keep the sacraments. It's kind of hard to see this close up, but it's over 500 years old. There's the organ. And one thing that's very interesting about this church is the frescoes. They're very, very old. I can't remember the year if it was 1400, but in 1776, they're actually covered up and whitewashed, believe it or not. But then they were restoring the church and they were removing some of the plaster. I think this is St. George here fighting a, or killing a dragon. They were able to restore some of the frescoes. And one other thing I wanted to show you is these chests on this side, they're over 500 years old and each family in the town at that time would have a chest be full of supplies that would help them out when they were being attacked, for example, by the Ottomans. Besides being fortified walls, the families would come to the church to basically hide out. Well, here are the chests, several of them right here. The history, here's a big bell. And it's also one of the few churches in Eastern Europe that has a crypt underneath it. It's got a small chapel below, we need to go look at it. And it's also got tombs on each side, about 30 per side. And we are gonna walk down here and look at it. So we're actually in the chapel area. It's very small, very dark as you can tell. And here's the area of the tombs. There's basically 
30 on each side. And you can see in this one, it's got a lot of condensation, but you can see the wood piece, the wood coffin, and some iron piece on top of it. And there's another one down here that you can see the, the coffin has actually collapsed and decayed. There's some hair right there. Here's some headstones. Of course, they were in the floor originally. They were facing down so that people didn't walk on them. And this part of it was destroyed. Look at the detail on this. I believe the language is in either German or Latin, and they actually have 21 of these. They actually found five recently. Then we'll move over here to protect them. You see the detail on it. 